Okay. 265 pounds, twisted steel and sex appeal, and I got small ass nipples, dog. It is a bright and early Thursday morning. My name is Ryan Cruzy, and this is Cruzy Originals. And today, I'm going to show you a nice way to set your hand controls up on our Cruzy Originals ATV style handlebars. On the bike, we're giving away. We're giving this bike away. Have you seen it? If you haven't seen it, go to our playlist. It's titled Win a Bike. You can watch all the other bikes we've given away, the build series on those, and you can watch the whole build series on this. And it will tell you how you can win this bike. So far, we've done a lot to this thing. We built the motor. It's a 128 inch SNS motor with a SNS 475 cam, 11 to 1 compression. It has our handlebars on it, a 12 inch set of Cruise Originals ATV bars. It has our engine guard, the Cruise Originals K bar on it. It has a wedge fairing on it, which is very nice fairing. First time we ever used one. It's a very expensive fairing, but it is a very nice fairing. It has ST bags on it. This is a 2020 Lowrider S to clarify. It has ST bags, uh, Legend suspension. The Legends Monoshock in the rear, it has bare knuckle performance. Lift kit in the front has a two inch lift, which is really nice. We rebuilt the front end, we put different fork oil in it and set the dampening up, it's pretty nice. It has a Cruise Original Skynet wheels on it, floating rotors, Cruise Original Skynet chain drive kit, uh, matching rotor for the wheels, matching sprocket for the wheels. The motor's all been blacked out, it has a stealth performance exhaust, SNS intake, uh, saddleman seat, of course, that's a tuck and roll with some tri gripper in the back. It's all been custom painted. CRD designs. CRD designs. I'm terrible with names. I'm going to get you pretty soon. It has a Cruzy Originals lay down license plate. It has a pro beam tail light in it. All the paint's fresh. We painted it through little gold on the emblems right here just to throw little gold accents. It has our logo painted into the side with some gold in it. It has a Green Brothers Designs made this custom shift linkage for us that's gold carbon fiber, which is pretty dope. I didn't know that existed. We've got uh, Harley Davidson. This is Harley Davidson bolt-on true mid-control setup. It brings you up and back a little bit, and we didn't have to do anything with primary because this thing had floorboards on it originally. That's super dope. ODI grips. Uh, we got to still build the brake lines for the front end because the front end is so much taller. We got to build the lines for that. We got a Big Bear Choppers brake block in there for the ABS. There's our chain drive kit down there. You can see it's going to be really really nice to ride a really really nice high high powered high performance touring monster that you can win from us real real soon it should be ready to go in about a month from now when that is all done uh stickers will go live on our website and you can buy a sticker pack and every sticker pack you buy enters you in a chance to win this motorcycle so that being said that shit don't go live until the bike's done so don't bother commenting down below. So our bars, are, they're narrow. They're 28 inches wide. Handlebars should be able to fit to the door of a house. If they can't, they're too wide. But the bends are really tight, and, and in order to bring all this stuff in where it sets, you get a little bit of a gap right here because you're pushing it into the bend, which all you gotta do is slide out a little bit and you can get rid of that gap, but then you're making the bars wider. And I like to keep them nice and tight, so I'm gonna show you how to make this gap go away today. Uh, how about you unhook the clutch cable, pull the clutch perch off for me. I'll pull the master cylinder off. We're gonna take this stuff off. We're gonna take it next door. I keep this side nice and clean. So we'll go next door and do some grinding and shit over there. So, I'll make down right here that means it's hitting on this part right here so then it pulls all this shit like this and then you have a gap Let's take this bottom outside corner right here we're gonna machine this off so then it will set flush again and you can push it up to the handlebars uh, chewing on your hair. Hey. little butthole back there chewing on my air hose what we want to do is take this outside edge out so we can get this thing to rotate like that so I'm gonna just this is real easy because it's pretty thin. Somebody's already ground on this one at one time. Oh, 
See, a little bit of relief. She might be there, we'll go double check it, but that looks pretty close. Give me some screws, tools. I'm gonna call that good. I could grind on it some more, but closed up the gap pretty much. It's pretty much gone. That's that. Uh, put the clutch lever back on, all that good shit, get that set up. Okay, so this is a part I'm pretty excited about. This is uh, Twisted T Industries. They sent us their new mini four boards. These are adjustable, so you can set them up quite a lot of varieties of where you want to set your feet. So I want to play with this quite a bit. Kind of set it up there. I'm kind of thinking probably right in the middle because I'm pretty generic that way. I want to be close enough to the brake pedal, but not have my feet in front of me, if that makes sense. So I'm going to have Matt get these mocked up. They have another set of pegs that are adjustable. You can raise them up, turn them back, down, forward, all kinds of shit. Those are dope. We did them on the, the first giveaway bike, the black one. These are going to be pretty rad. We're going to put these on Twisted T Industries. Check them out. They build some really rad billet products. Well, that's definitely not right. Jake's going to put that on there. step off and see what it looks like but comfort wise it feels real nice this feels like a comfortable just like really would like to keep them <laughs> building them and getting rid of them is ah not as cool as keeping them that's for sure but i'm building some dope shit for myself too the road glides coming along pretty good put them right where they're at make sure they're i want them fucking super super level super parallel to the ground red lock type those things torque them and then put that set screw in and red lock type that bitch too Oh, that hurt really bad, man. that thing. Man, we built dope shit. I'm telling you what, that bike is some dope shit. I really like those floorboards. They feel real nice. That mid control setup, those, those mid controls bring you up and back a little bit, like a three quarters of an inch. I think back an inch and up three quarters ish. And then putting the floorboards on there and then bringing them back, it just, it feels real nice. It feels like I'm riding on true mid controls. It also feels very comfortable with that nice deep cut step up seat there from saddleman you got lots of backrest taller bars so you just kind of lay back and cruise this thing she is going to be a touring machine which it could be anything honestly because it's gonna have 128 inch motor in it god damn i can't wait to start this thing uh we're still waiting on the tune from dino jet we haven't got that yet they're dragging their dicks over there uh but other than that she's dialed i'm gonna sit on it because i want to It's the only time you'll catch me riding in boots. How good would you look on this thing? Just imagine, out on a Friday night, homies are like, yo, meet us down at the bar, are we gonna ride tonight? And you're like, okay. You leave the Sportster in the garage, you fire this bad motherfucker up. You pull up to the bar, all your homies are there, their sportsters are all lined up, and that 192 Dyna. Power slide up, you back it in. Take all their chicks home. You could be the ugliest son of a bitch and have the hottest chick in the club that night. Whoa! Damn, dude. You're definitely gonna be the most popular dude anywhere you go. Mostly with dudes. Because <laughs> let's be real, chicks don't give a fuck about motorcycles. <laughs> oh. uh, look at this thing. Sean, come sit on this thing. Dude, I didn't think I could ride this thing. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Look at that, dude. 
<laughs> it's my, oh shit. Oh, we're good, we're good. My we'll, dick look don't, longer? Don't now? squeeze the brake lever, it'll squirt brake juice out. Okay. Yeah, dick looks longer. Dick's longer? Yeah, I almost see it falling out of your shorts. Jeez, dude. You want sport, dude? Just look at that. Dude, I got a little backpack for her. She rides the Grom. Yeah? And goggles, yes. Oh. How yeah. cute would that be? He's scared of us. It's like those little cards, you know, that like you get at the Hallmark, you know, to give your mom or something. Oh yeah. Like a little picture of this thing. Dude, when yep. I'm riding a Harley, I feel like I'm like in a Suburban. And if somebody <laughs> pulls out in front of me, I'm just like. You blow through them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fuck you, brother. <laughs> fuck, dude. They're just so big. You ain't stopping. Yeah, head to lay her down. You're no, yeah, you're definitely laying her down, dude. Head to lay her down, yourself. brother. I mean, Sean rode our race bike. You guys don't know Sean rode for us in the bag of racing league and killed everyone out there. But have you ever rode just like this kind of Harley? Not a stunt bike or a race bike, but I've, just like take it for a cruise Harley? I had like a pile of shit that I traded a dirt bike for one time. I had it for about a week. Really? And I rode it around a little bit, but it was like ABS. Ugh, and no it had like this has ABS too. These no ugly way. ass fucking homemade T bars on it, and it was just the mm. Oh fuck! Sorry, I just, <laughs> it's instinct, dude. I know you want to grab. I, I squeezed it like four times. I got a plug in it, but it's dripping fucking dot four. It's brutal. You're good. There's, no, like that there's no drip. She's beautiful. Yeah, that thing is sad, dude. I'm so fucking excited about this bike. You got to ride this though. It's different when you're on like maximum. This thing will handle phenomenal. Just track real straight, ride really good, but it's gonna make power like the race bike. Not Man. quite as much as the race bike, but it'll be. Honestly, like the race bike power would be fun if you're just like cruising the highway and you just yeah. wanted to oh, fucking <laughs> feel that thing pull, but like. Eat somebody. Yeah, it was honestly gnarly hitting that power leaned over in the turn. Like yeah. that shit was fucking. Too much. Dude, it's crazy the amount of power that race bike makes. Yeah, I wrote, <laughs> I wrote it one time after we final tuned it on race gas. I wrote it was on pump gas, kind of a, a mild tune, and then we final tuned it on race gas, and it was intense. I haven't wrote it since. The thing is, and honestly, I wrote it and brought it back. I was like, I can't ride this. <laughs> I ain't got the juice. But we're gonna probably down tune it back on pump gas and make it a little more streetable. Cause on pump gas, it made 150 horse, 150 foot pounds. That's pretty good. Race, race gas, gas, I don't, I don't know what we we're making. Probably one high 60s, 70s. Man, you cut out little bins in the bags. Throw the dog go. in there, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah dude, little, I'll get a little head on the Look at that. Whole, like, How precious thing? is that dog? I'll have there. two of them. You guys all got your big badass dogs protecting the shop. We have precious as a lamb and an AR 15. Look <laughs> <laughs> at the camera. She's a model. <laughs> Close and personal. <laughs> Four dudes. <laughs> Four dudes around her. Yeah. Biker shit, brother. <laughs> Goddamn biker shit. She oh, that was it. Right. That was it. <laughs> she stuck that horse pose right there. Really popped that ass out for me. That oh, was she's nice. like, you guys want me to put my ass down again? Oh. Oh, hang over. oh. Look at that. All right. The whole reason I walked over here is because I need an <laughs> angle grinder to cut that tab and adjust it real quick. Beautiful. On the tack. Okay. Uh, on that note, <laughs> like, subscribe, ring that bell. CruisyOriginals.com for everything that's on this bike. You can buy it right there. We got it all the time. Everything, everything you need. If it's not on there, call the shop. Talk to Trent. He's a real nice dude. He'll take good care of you. And stay posted. If you want to know more about this bike and how you can win it, go to our playlist. Win a bike. And don't forget, in September, Labor Day weekend, we will be in Durango, Colorado for the Four Corners Rally. We'll be hosting a big party, a flat track race, a whole bunch of wild shit out there. Don't miss it. It's awesome. You can use code CRUZY on their website to get some sort of discount on the camping. I don't remember, but you also that gets you in the Cruzy Originals campground. So there's a big-ass campground, but there's also a Cruzy Originals campground in the campground. That gets you to camp with us, which you know that will be a good time. And... We're gonna be in Cottonwood, Arizona for the Thunder Valley Rally on the September 15th to the 16th, I believe. You can go on their website. Also a very big show. It's a really, really good time. 30, 40,000 people plus. Bunch of like great 80s metal bands are gonna be playing up there. It's a big party. They shut down the town. It's a really good time. Come out to that one. And we will also be in Rocky Point, Mexico. It's actually Puerto Penasco. They call it the Rocky Point Rally. November, I wanna say the weekend of the 12th and the 13th. I'll verify that. Look up the Rocky Point Rally. We are going to be hosting, putting on a stunt show, possibly 
another competition. Battle at the Creek is gone. We're coming back with Battle at the Beach, so stay posted. F follow us on Instagram. Peace, love you, thank you.